Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Uh, today I wanted to teach you guys how I make my florals with my Posca pins and my gouache, and that's what I'm gonna show you with this today. Here's the example that I made for this video. So I'm gonna teach you how to draw these and how to accent your drawings, just adding a little bit of floral here and there. And I'll show you on this as well. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. All right, the first thing I do is I take like a circular something, but I have this awesome protractor and I've had it for a really long time. You see you have the different measurements to make a perfect circle, or you can just go outside the edge, and make and trace that beautiful perfect circle. Usually when you make floral wreaths or crowns or whatever, you kind of want to like whatever your subject is, you kind of want to pick which direction your leaves are going to go. So for example, like let's say I want my leaves to go this way and maybe you would continue making your leaves going this way. So when I make my leaves, I make them pretty easy looking like that, but then I connect them later. So then I can go in, place where I want my leaves to go and kind of like shaping them up a little bit more. So let's say I want my leaves to go this way. Let's say we want one flower to be at the top and then one bundle of flower at the bottom. So maybe we got this one or this one. You could just choose what you want to do. My easy go-to flowers have always been the you know, the same little, they kind of look like the Hawaiian irises. You know, you make the big five leaf petals. I go in and I just kind of make that five leaf petal. And that's always been my go-to kind of thing. You know, you give yourself a center and then you can go in and add a little bit more to it if you want. You just want like different kinds of flowers. And of course you can always like Google search your favorite kind of flowers. So with each one, you can kind of go in and add little pizzazzes to it. So you see, I just add my little pizzazzes, whatever you want to, like indentions. Let's say like up here, I wanna do a bunch of roses. So maybe I'll grab my protractor again and make my typical roses. I'll use my perfect little circles to kind of help me out. All right, so I've got like these three little roses. So these are kind of easy for me. It's different for everyone. Like you pick an area, like let's say I'm gonna make a diamond right here. So diamond shape, you kind of pick this area right here. And then you kind of bounce off the corners almost like it's a game. So if I go from here to there, to there, and I start to curve inward, like, like let's say I go back over into this corner, and then since I'm coming to a middle, I'll kind of like curve it off like that. So they're very angular looking roses. You can kind of come in and soften those corners later. Then you can build up off of these. You still want to keep the circle. So let's say I go like this and I bring out this side, bring out this side. Out here so you kind of like play off of so from this corner and this corner and you want to get in the middle of petals so that kind of makes that rose all together done. Now you could, since you could go ahead and erase this part now, or you could do it later until you're all done. So you could erase this upper part, this outer part of that circle. You see you've got that little rose. Now you could do this again. So let's say I wanna make my diamond over here. So I'm gonna make my diamond over here. Once again, you're gonna pay, play that little game, like that Pong game they used to play back in the good old days. Go from here, here, there, and then kind of close it off. So that's the middle of my rows. I'm just playing off of it again. So this is where you just kind of go around 
just pick where you want your petals to go. Like let's say I'm gonna go right in between this mark right here. All right, and I'm gonna jump over here and make this mark. I'm gonna bring this one around here. Still trying to keep inside that circle. Big one here, another one here, another one here. And you can go in, soften those edges. And then let's say, all right, we did all this other direction. I'm gonna jump over to this one, make the diamond more in the middle. You can go and get rid of those circles or when you're lining it later. Now, really, really important thing is to just like cover these roses with, you wanna make these different kind of leaves. Like you can make really bigger leaves and you want them to be different from this size over here. So let's say I'm gonna do these really big leaves here. Kind of bring this one down. Bring this one over here. Bring this one over here this way and that one's gonna go this way so all kinds of different directions for the leaves as long as your roses are your focal point let's jump back down to this guy so I did my typical five flower like five petal flower right you can kind of go in here and you could add these colors later but to kind of show like that petal flip because most petals kind of flip or they go outwards but for this one let's just make like a petal flip so you can go in, add those little petal flips here and there, make longer pieces, like those indentions in the flowers. Make my center more of a center. And you can go in and add your leaves surrounding your bigger flower. You could do little flowers surrounding. Let's say for this one, I'm going to like break it up into sections. So we start from the middle, break it out going this way. Kind of gives it a cool effect when you color it in later. Now, let's go back to the point where we had like our little leaves. So let's keep continuing, like our little leaves are gonna go this way. You wanna just sketch them out and you can attach them later. Let's do something different with the roses. So let's say I want to make like vines going this way vines going this way. Now that's where you could add like your leaves jumping off this one. You want to keep them going in the right direction. Now you see how I just kind of like and I'll make these nice and neat in a bit. You can't go wrong with making these just a part of the imagination. There's plenty of ways, there's simple ways I've learned from books, Pinterest, looking at different pieces of decorations. All these people use these floral wreath inspirations. First thing you wanna do when it comes to your floral wreaths when you're coloring, now that I've got everything kind of sketched out, I can kind of go in there and kind of shape it up a little bit more. You want to go ahead and either pick out what you want to use. So I'll do a uh, posca pens down here and gouache on top. What you want to do is establish your base color. So you want your base 
matte colors and using gouache or Posca pins or paint pens in general will create that kind of matte color. So everything's going to be a little bit flat like this. So we're gonna establish base monotone colors number one. So let's start with this one and we'll pick a nice Posca pen. Man, what? I want to go to Disneyland. Okay, sure. Let's go right now. Oh, we can't. They're closed. Oh. Okay, so as you can see, we went ahead and we I established my monotone first layers, whatever they're going to be, and going around and kind of erasing around where you wanted to be or different plans. Wait till it's completely dry. Can I go in? I'm gonna pick up just a little bit off of my petals. Erase here too. All right, now this is where I would go in and kind of do second layers and second colors. So with the second colors, you see that I left like spaces here and spaces here to establish my lines. I'll probably go back in. I'll switch with these. This is a darker pink and then here's a lighter pink and I'll probably switch, line this with the darker pink and then line this with the lighter pink and you'll see that in a second. But for this one, now I'm gonna go in. And for the leaves, you kinda wanna try to switch it up just a bit. So if I take like my dark green and I wanna go in, and let's say that I wanna make it like a dual colored leaf so I can go in and I can fill in like half of that underneath and I could do that all the way through the entire leaf like the leaves going up this way like I could even just do as simple as that and that's it it's totally up to you how you want it to go you could color it in you could leave it open and then let's say for this one, I want to go in, line the back and top, I want to establish where the divisions of that leaf is. So I go in and I fill it in like that, kind of gives it a cool little Hawaiian looking vibe to it. Maybe darken up this side right here so you can make it nice and dark, a thicker line at the bottom. I would start jumping in and start filling in more colors and establishing my second color.
going to show you in the next part of this video how I would use gouache as a background floral kind of thing. Now, I use this floral project when I just want to, you know, make stuff look extra pretty. If it's, you know, I've got like my main sketch like here, for example, here's the fairy godmother from Disney Cinderella. And I just wanted to make it look a little bit more special. So I added a little bit more zing and pep by adding some gouache flowers. Just like, it's not really a flower crown, but it's kind of hugging the subject of the art piece in a way. And when I mean hugging, it's like just being around it and drawing your attention to the main focal point, which happens to be the fairy godmother. For the next part, after we're done with Fairy Godmother, I went ahead and if you've seen the tutorial on Anna and the sketchy technique, I taught you how to do this watercolor sketchy technique um, that I've been using on my Instagram. So with Anna, you see that I am using just Posca pins and instead of doing like a floral crown or a floral wreath, I did a square instead. And this just kind of shows like, I didn't want to do the autumn leaves. I wanted to do more of like leaves that were related to her crown and to her outfit and to Arendelle in general. So that's what I'm using the Posca pens for. And there you go. There is how I use my Posca pens and my gouache to make some floral looking wreaths. They're fun ways to accent your drawings if you don't want to do an entire background. It's always nice to just throw in a little bit of floral here and there. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun tutorial and I will see you all later. Bye!